it in here. Gotta have a little garlic. That I know is a no-no, garlic in a carbonara. Beat the eggs, the egg yolks. Two and a half cups of- Wait, cups of what? It, this is a uh, cream. Ah! Cream. Do you put chicken on your pasta? I need a one. <laughs> Go to the breeze. It was pretty good. Into my pan, now, for the cream. Wow. 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 That's how good in your worst nightmare. It's never gonna be that exact carbonara like you would get in Rome unless you use fresh pasta. Okay? No, I didn't understand. She said she said the only way to have the experience of like a carbonara that you would have in Rome is if you use fresh pasta. Okay guys, fresh bye pasta. bye, it was a pleasure. Fresh Ciao. pasta. Welcome, Welcome to, to another, another Vincenzo's Plate! Plate. Hi, I'm Harper. Ciao, I'm Eva. We're from the YouTube... <laughs> <laughs> he is Vincenzo's Plate. <laughs> We're from the YouTube channel Pasta Grammar, and our good friend Vincenzo can't talk today. I don't have a voice. Someone tried to put pineapple on his pizza, there was a lot of yelling, he completely lost his voice. So he called us today to help him react to some Giada De Laurentiis videos. Your favorite, is it? We've never seen her videos before. Let's find out if she's an ambassador for Italian food. Let's find out. And thank you for reacting, guys. I'm sorry I can't speak. <laughs> you sound like Don Corleone. Can you kiss my hand? Food father. <laughs> <laughs> Harper, we are watching Chicken Carbonara via Giada De Laurentiis. Save the recipe. You gotta save this one. Yes, and then put back in the trash. <laughs> Chicken carbonara. It's everything I love and more. I'm gonna start with the pancetta. Okay, here we have the first problem. The first two, three problems. The first one is uh, chicken carbonara because uh, as our friends Vincenzo teach to all of us uh, chicken and carbonara. Magia. The second thing is Arpero. Olive oil? But, but, oh, pancetta. 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 I'm learning. Pancetta. Pancetta. Guanciale, right? Guanciale is the right things to use, right? Very thin. Very, 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 very so thin, thin, guys. This is thin. thin. Mm. We need the thick guanciale because we need to bite the guanciale. Put it in here. Gotta have a little garlic. That I know is a no no. Garlic. In a carbonara. Oh God, garlic. <laughs> it's a lot of garlic. <laughs> you never put garlic in a carbonara. Check. This is unacceptable from every kind point of view. There we go. And for this recipe, I'm going to use a whole box of spaghetti. She is very, how do you say, starving or hungry because a whole box of spaghetti is half kilos of spaghetti. Come on. She's very lean. <laughs> but maybe she has a big stomach. And in the meantime, I'm going to make the sauce. We're going to use eight egg yolks. Eight egg yolks. Well, she's using a whole box of spaghetti. That's also right. <laughs> Need a lot of egg yolks. <laughs> it can be. It can be. Beat the eggs, the egg yolks. Two and a half cups of... Wait, cups of what? It, this is uh, cream. Ah! Cream. Is that milk? <laughs> we, don't, we, we don't say cream in my house. How dare you say cream in my house? Huh? This is cream. We have to go into the priest now. To go into the priest. <laughs> we need an esorcista. <laughs> now, the Parmesan cheese. Mix that all together here. I like to add fresh herbs. So I'm so sorry, she is making a sort of bechamel, a cold bechamel, because if she has the cream and the cheese and mix all together, it's like a bechamel, I don't know, how do you call it? What is the pecorino? Yes. We need to use pecorino for carbonara. What cheese did she use? I didn't catch it. Parmigiano. Parmigiano. She said Parmigiano. 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 French. It must be a French cheese, Parmesan. <laughs> Why is it called Parmesan in the USA? That's what we call uh, like cheese that isn't really cheese. Parmesan. Yeah. Parmigiano. Sounds fancy Parmesan. Yeah. 
and a bunch of parsley too because why not put some green inside so you're telling me you feel by a dish a carbonara with the parsley on you pay you pay for it with no parsley you don't pay for it yeah well it's not italian if there isn't parsley in it right because in italy right? as we say parsley in every <laughs> soup <laughs> <laughs> We learn something new every day. Yeah. On the espresso, a little parsley. A touch of parsley. Look how good that looks. I'm just warming up the chicken, ready to add the pasta. Okay, now I like chicken, but I never put chicken on my pasta. Never. It's Not once. No once. Not once. No, it doesn't Move mean. Move chicken. No. Move chicken. No. Do you put chicken on your pasta? I need a one. <laughs> Go to the breeze. It was pretty good. <laughs> now, for the cream. Wow. 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 <laughs> guys, I, I feel like pretty sick. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I feel pretty, pretty sick. I just feel sorry for the pasta. The pasta is overcooked, you can tell. The beautiful parsley <laughs> swimming in the sad cream. They are screaming, help, help so us! Good, Bosley. I like too how you can see there's like, it's not mixed well, so it's just sort of like a soupy liquid followed by a mappazzone of cheese and egg. It's like not mixed even together. You can make a better camera. Oh yeah, yeah. 100%. Let me get the topping ready. So I toast the walnuts. She had walnuts in a carbonara. So, I'm so sorry guys, what she used of a real carbonara, just the eggs, eggs and the spaghetti. And the spaghetti. Yeah, overcooked. Overcooked. So. <laughs> so, why did she say, save the recipe? Because for who? Then you take Vincenzo and put it in the trash, the recipe. You save it for a moment and put it in the trash. So sad. So maybe sad. maybe it's to save it in a museum for future generations to learn from you know Miss how Bell. not to make a carbonara. Or maybe she watched Gordon Ramsay video and said, if he did it that way, I can do worse. I can do worse. <laughs> I can do worse. <laughs> in her favor, the what she does better than Gordon Ramsay is Gordon Ramsay explicitly says that his is better than an original carbonara. At least she hasn't said that. No yet. yet. And then we'll just sprinkle them right on top of the spaghetti. A little bit of lemon zest. More, more, add more. If we wait another three minutes, she opened the fridge and she started to put carrots and celery. <laughs> she started to grate everything on this poor carbon carbonara. I don't know, but she had the courage to try it. So, my, the respect for her. Round of applause. Brava, Jan. It just looks so dry. I never liked Food Network for this reason. What do I learn from this? That uh, you don't watch her when you want to cook a carbonara. Well, so far, uh, she hasn't done a great job uh, showing her prowess with Italian food, but it seems like she's not done with carbonara because she has another carbonara video. And we're already here to watch it. Maybe she learned. She's actually been paid to be on stage. To be on stage? Showing people how to make carbonara. Wow. Yeah. Okay, now. What? English is not my first language. And for sure, uh, Harper and Vincenzo, they speak English much better than me. But I know what cinnamon means. And cinnamon is cannella. <laughs> so she's going to put cinnamon in the carbonara. I think she smokes cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> this is something that I never saw in my life. That, I was not expecting that. Chicken we've seen. Shrimp. Shrimp. Lots of peas. Lots of cream. I've never seen a cinnamon carbonara. I think she made it better, better than Gordon. Gordon used cream fresh. But and cinnamon. that was for me, that was the best thing I ever had in my life. Cinnamon. It's over the top. Over the top. Jada, you won. You're the queen of fake carbonara. How many people eat carbonara? 
A lot of people eat carbonara. Nice. Okay. And I'm sure everybody has their way of making it, but there is no way. There is no way, my way, Vincenzo's way, Apple's way. No, there is just one way. I make mine with part bacon, part pancetta. The bacon for the smokiness and the pancetta for the little bit of like that. They have peppercorns and different flavors in the pancetta. So she's using bacon for the smokiness and pancetta. For the pepperiness. For the pepperiness. Mm. Guanciale. Have you heard of it? Yeah. I'm just cool. Look at the chef over there watching Jada, listening to Jada. He's like saying, What are you talking about? Why? I are watched Pasta Gram by Vincenzo and they told me to use guanciale. Why are you changing the recipe? Who am I listening to? So, is this guy going to buy her book? Or is he going to buy her book? We hope power. Hope so. We hope power. Panchita, so it adds a lot more flavor to the end result in the carbonara. It adds more. Hey, we need lots of flavor. Up the pancetta and the bacon. Here, let's put the bacon in there first. Why? Just like you would when you're making any bacon, just, you know, brown it up, crisp it up. And then when it's crispy, I add, I sprinkle cinnamon, ground cinnamon over the top. And the cinnamon adds a little bit of sweetness and a lot of warmth because as the fat sort of renders out of it, it's nice and it's still um, warm and it sort of absorbs the cinnamon into the pancetta and the bacon. Honestly, she must have been on drugs. And she has to be good. Because the carbonara, you don't, why does it does have to be sweet? Carbonara is a strong, rich dish. It's, it's like one of the most punchy, That's right. sharp, oh. strong, cheesy, dill. it's, I can't imagine eating a carbonara being like, this needs some sweetness. This needs some delicate Cinema. sweetness to it. It's like if I watch Mike Tyson on the ring doing boxing and then all of a sudden he goes, ooh, <laughs> I don't want that. I want to fight. <laughs> you know, you wouldn't eat this on a regular basis every week, but. No, <laughs> no, Jada, we don't eat never. Not on a regular basis every week, never. I, I like to cook food that I would want to eat on a regular basis. If your first thing you tell me is, you don't want to eat this all the time, I'm like, well, why, why am I cooking it? Why am I cooking it? Special friends coming over and you have a wonderful brunch, this is a great dish. Or, you know, it's just one of those things where you can't eat a lot of it, but I'm telling you, you will dream about it. <laughs> That's how good it is. In your worst nightmare. You dream about it because it's like. Yeah, hey, see. Yeah, <laughs> see, Vincenzo. I am worried about that. <laughs> because they are scared. Oh, that's wrong. Oh, so he's scared now. See, they are. It's a nervous <laughs> <laughs> that. Let's go away. <laughs> so you just add the pancetta in there. Heavy cream, and it's got to be heavy cream. Got to be. Yeah. If you use normal cream or milk, it's not the same. Heavy cream. And I mean, it wouldn't be a carbonara without Absolutely. heavy cream. It's gotta be heavy cream. Hope in 2022, no restaurants have cream carbonara. If they do, just get up the day and, run away. and go. Low fat milk, doesn't work. Parmesan cheese, parmigiano de chano. She said it right. She said it right the second time, but she said Parmesan cheese, Parmigiano Reggiano. They're not the same thing. No. So which is it? Is it Parmesan or is it Parmigiano Reggiano? And what is the pecorino? Pecorino. Pecor what? Pecorino. <laughs> Be 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 the Parmigiano comes from mo, mo. It went from a be. Be. And that's a lot of cheese. Mix it together, okay? And then he's laughing. Come on, guys, he's laughing. What's he knows. The chef is laughing. He knows. He knows. He's been to home. He and he knows it is wrong. <laughs> Add one egg yolk at a time. Because otherwise it wouldn't work. Because there is the cinnamon, so it's sweet. And it could be a good dessert. Take the cheese yeah. out, add Me. some sugar. She's putting cinnamon. Yeah. It's sweet. Yes. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we don't know what we're watching. Maybe these are the side. You're right. Yeah. But don't say this because maybe she's listened to you and she's going to make this for the next video. So <laughs> oh, no. Dessert carbonara. We're going too far.
Mix that all in there, just like that. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and brick. A little bit. Not too much. Kastoplash needs pepper. But then maybe she put that down on the cinnamon. Oh, don't forget, it's a cinnamon carbonara, not a pepper carbonara. When you're doing a dessert carbonara, traditionally you don't over-season it with salt and pepper. Just yeah. 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 Make sure you break the egg yolks, okay? And that's gonna, and now, let's see here. As soon as this gets nice and crispy, add a little bit of the cinnamon right on top. So, ah. Que profumo. <laughs> Profumo di cannella. She's so proud. Sì, sì, she is so, so proud. Sì, sì. Can you guys smell it? Yes. Sì, sí, we can smell it. <laughs> and in the water, and then I use fresh fettuccine or linguine for this dish. Oh boy. Now, I don't know, Vincenzo, what do you think about this? But a fresh pasta with carbonara. No. no. To be honest, I made it a few times when I was younger. It's so heavy. It's too heavy. And it doesn't come up, come out correctly. Because of the, the egg in the pasta. It's, it's really egg and egg and egg. It's it also too. doesn't get the creamy, you don't get the same experience. Yeah. Because it's, it's so rich. See, well. it's yeah. too much. It's too much. It's too much. I think a lot of people, like I believe this before I learned more about Italian food, they just think that fresh egg pasta is always better. No. No, no matter what. No. And it's it's just better. No, no. it's no. Completely different. Completely. And only because the fresh pasta absorbs the cream sauce a lot better than dried pasta does. This is what we usually we don't want with a carbonara. Because if the pasta absorbs too much, then you don't have the cream in your plate. And it becomes all together that you put the fork and set that fork. You have a dry carbonara, so why is she on TV telling people this? I don't know. I don't know. What's happening on this planet? Huh? Can you go there and tell people what to do? I will. When we go back to US, we go to her home, we knock at the door and say, Jada, come on. You deserve to be on Food Network and tell and share with everyone. Come on, Eva. We, we will try. Come on, write a comment. Say, Eva. We need to go together. <laughs> come on. So, yes, you can substitute, but it's never gonna be that exact carbonara like you would get in Rome unless you use fresh pasta, okay? No, I didn't understand. She said, she said the only way to have the experience of like a carbonara that you would have in Rome is if you use fresh pasta. Okay, guys, bye-bye, it was a pleasure, Fresh Ciao. pasta. Just doesn't make sense what she's saying. Doesn't make sense. So you cook the pasta, cook this, cook the manchet and the bacon, turn the heat to low, and this is, this is sort of the secret here. You turn the heat to a simmer and you add the cream and egg and Parmesan cheese into it. And then it becomes scrambled eggs and pasta. She said before, so at, at least, least she, said she, it. she was uh, sincere. Scrambled egg and pasta. Let's see how it's now. Let's see. That the cream with the egg yolks and the cheese and the pasta start to thicken slowly. Now, if you boil this mixture, you're in trouble because it'll curd up and separate, and then the eggs will look scrambled. So you really want it to be a nice, smooth cream sauce. Okay. Well, I think that wins the award for the most creative carbonara recipe we've ever seen. But she's not done with carbonara. We have a third video where, oh, with Bobby Flay, she makes a carbonara in Rome. Wow. Maybe she's there to teach the Romans how to make carbonara. <laughs> They could use some help. For sure. Do you just make the mixture of the egg yolks and, yes. uh, and the cheese? I just have to see uh, how it's color and texture. texture. Okay. I like, <laughs> I like John in there like, yeah, yeah, I totally know what she's doing right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She was thinking, why is she wearing this? Where is the cream? What, what is this? Pe peco, pecorino? Where is, Where is the cinnamon? Where is the cinnamon? I um, look and feel rather than measurements. Sarah knows when the consistency is just right. And then it's into the kitchen for the key ingredient. Per fare il guanciale croccante, utilizziamo la padella di ferro. Americans tend to use bacon or pancetta. Yes. Oh, oh. She used bacon or pancetta. I like the way she says that. Amer Americans. 
You're so stupid. They use bacon and pancetta. I know better. How do you feel right now? You are I'm American. offended. I'm offended. She's the kind of American who uses bacon and pancetta. And then she goes, oh, Americans, they use bacon and pancetta. They don't, they don't know the truth. They don't know like me. Yeah. But in Italy, we use guanciale. We, 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 in Italy, in Italy we, we use guanciale. I'm so sorry, Vincenzo. Do you think that she is part of Italy? No. So you want to hold on to a little bit of the extra rendered fat because you're going to coat the pasta right at the end after it's done. So all these little tricks is what makes carbonara so special. So why she used the cream before? Why she used parsley before? I have no idea. I know, I know exactly what's happening here. The real chef is telling her that in Italian. Then she translates it and says what the chef just told her, and then they cut that part out. So it sounds like, oh, Jad is explaining how to make the carbonara. So yeah. everyone believes you yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. She knows it. Yeah. Hey, but who are we to say this? We're just three guys who do YouTube with passion, with love. Who are we? But for sure, we eat a lot of carbonara in our life. For sure. For yes. Sure. Maybe we're nobody? But no. we eat a lot. We eat a lot of food, good food. <laughs> so we are ready. Alright, so some of the guanciale went in. Now. Yes. Finally, in goes that silky egg sauce. That's beautiful. That looks That's good. Amazing. That's amazing. That looks good. One thing that is very important to Vincenzo is that she did this out of the fire, the fire out yeah. of the stove, because otherwise you cook the eggs and you don't want it. Jara is doing a good job of holding that bowl though. Ah, bravissima! 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 Brava Jara! Okay, here we are. This is the perfect texture for carbonara. Look how velvety that is. It's so cute. Gorgeous. Classic carbonara. Pecorino. Guanciale croccante. And then... Pepe. Jara is hot. Look at the face. He's <laughs> now realizing... Like Mm. What have I been doing all my life? Where have I been? Why does that look so good? She look at the face. You can tell. See, Where she's she yeah. Like, yeah. What's yeah. your mind? She looks she looks upset to have not made that carbonara. <laughs> 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 and then pepper. And pepper. Of course. Of course. No cinnamon jada, pepe, pepper. You mean parsley? Where is the parsley? This is the way we eat in the kitchen, up against the refrigerator. Thick and yeah. creamy and silky. The guanciale really makes a huge difference. So much flavor. That's what's so great. So Jada had quite a few different carbonara variations there. What do you think? Is she an ambassador of Italian food? Okay, personally I think that uh, she should change also her name from Giada to another strange name because she can't be called also Giada that resembles Italian. But in her defense, guys, I want to say that she made the most strange carbonara that I have ever seen in my life, which is the sea. That is the real touch of a real fake chef. It's, it's impressive. It's impressive. impressive. That's impressive. that's an impressively bad recipe. But save the recipe. Save the recipe. Save the recipe. And put in the recipe. So that you know, if you see this recipe somewhere, you know where it goes. Save it, so you don't eat it. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching, and a big thank you to Vincenzo for inviting us in today. We had a lot of fun watching these videos. Go make a real carbonara. Go check out Vincenzo's recipe up here. He use pecorino. Pecorino. Sa Vincenzo, let's go and cook a carbonara. Let's go and do it now. Thank you and sorry for my voice. <laughs> I've been waiting one year for this moment. My voice is gone. But we don't go anywhere. We stay with you. <laughs> Food is a language that you don't need a voice for. True. Thanks for watching, guys. Ciao. Ciao. No!